Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Happy Elfmas. We are rolling things along. And today, oh, I'm really excited about this video because you all, we are talking about a particular house today. A one, one particular house and that house is Wilhelm Parfumery. This is a continuation. I told you all I would do this video in due time after I got back from my trip in New York while I was able to experience the full range of Wilhelm Parfumery. And they were so kind and generous to give me so many samples with my order. I, mean, I have a ton of samples here. We have seven fragrances from this house that we wanted to talk about. And we're gonna sample, we're gonna have a good time, but before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone, we're doing milk chocolate. And this is the shade Mac Photo. True milk chocolate brown type of color. It'll be linked below in the description box. Just like everything is always linked below in the description box. Next up we have Fragrance of the Day. And I had to reach to the back of my collection for this one because I was missing it. And this is still very, very good to this day. This is Chloe Nomad Absolute is your fragrance of the day. You all, it has cherry plum in here. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Perfect for my rugged days, my denim days, amazing. Again, this is Chloe Nomad Absolute, a fantastic fragrance that I'm sorry, I've been neglecting you. <laughs> so now let's get into this video featuring Wilhelm Parfumerie fragrances. So just to refresh everybody's memory, when I went to New York about see, two months ago, almost two months ago, I was able to experience the brand in its full glory. It is a New York based brand. And if y'all remember, the fragrance I did end up purchasing to start everything off is Morning Chess. Yes, you all remember me talk about this one. It's symbolic nature, what it means to me. I talked about it in a video, I'll link it up top. But this is the first fragrance from this house to start my collection. And the sales associates you all were fantastic at Saks. They were amazing. And they were so amazing to the point that they gifted me seven samples from the brand because there were two in here that almost ended up being the scent that I purchased. And I'll talk about those as we get to them. But we're gonna do some sampling because you all, this house has so many fragrances, truly worthy of deserving of being its own video. So let's get into it. First fragrance that we're gonna talk about is Dear Polly, because this is one of those I have actually seen people talk about. Although this house in general isn't talked about very much on YouTube in my opinion, with the exception of maybe three fragrances, which we'll get into that. But I will admit, Morning Chess Amongst the Gentlemen is one of those scents that's talked about, even though I think it's unisex, but I like it. So Dear Polly, and this is what the official samples look like, so you know it is real. I love how they have the name on it, and they're yellow, just like you see. So let's talk about Dear Polly. The notes are, we have bergamot, we have apple, we have middle notes of clayon, black tea, and then we have base of oak moss, musk, and black amber. So I really have no idea how this is going to go, but you know what? Let's see. And this is what the sample looks like. I just love the yellow theme that they do with this brand. Just amazing. It's super amazing. Trusty scent strip. Now let's see what Dear Polly is giving. I like Dear Polly. Okay. I see why Dear Polly gets some traction. This is cute. Hmm. The tea in here, that Cleon tea, that black tea in here. I smell it. Hmm. It's fruity, but with a tea scent. So this will be a good morning scent, a very calming morning, early morning type of scent in my opinion. Okay. Dear Polly, I do like. Again, that is from Wilhelm Parfumery, which all of these are Wilhelm Parfumery and Dear Polly is the one we just talked about. It is a yes, I like her. The next fragrance we wanna talk about from the brand is London Funk. This is one I have seen, but I hadn't really heard much about it. Okay, I don't have to tear into this box to get into it. So, okay, let's see what London Fog is supposed to give. So we have top notes of Juniper Basil, Caradone, Bergamot, and we got some black currant bud, driftwood base, vetiver, yerba mat, cedarwood, amber, ambergris, and sandalwood. I have no idea where this is gonna go either. 
Because a lot of times you all, I know brands list notes and all that, but look. A scent smells like what it's going to smell like. Okay, this is a man scent. This is definitely a man. The juniper in here makes this a man scent, but... Hmm. It has an incense -y vibe to this. It does. Hmm, this is giving man cave. So I can definitely see a man wearing London funk, which I do have the pictures up of these, so you all remember what I'm talking about, but... Okay. I like it. I can't wear this. Again, this is so masculine, but I like it. Very incense-y, kind of leathery. Okay. I get the juniper for sure. Okay. London Funk is definitely giving man, so it's nice, but I can't wear this. Next fragrance we're going to talk about is Chicago High. So I like the name of this one. So let's see. Notes for Chicago High are, oh, the first note is champagne, y'all. So we have champagne, pineapple, bergamot. Then we have honey, Tabeo, and then base, we have leather, patchouli, and amber. I have high hopes for this, especially with the champagne, though, and I love something that's kind of fizzy and effervescent. So let's see what Chicago High is doing. I love doing first impressions. Don't y'all enjoy these sales? It's fun to play in your samples. Because you know, I've been sitting on these samples for two months now, but I want to play in them with you all. Mmm. I smell the honey mixed with the leather in here. This is unique. This is one that's very unique. Hmm. This is one I'll have to really wear on the skin because this is interesting. I don't know how I feel about this. I was hoping I would love it, love it first and fifth, but oh no. This is very exotic. So again, what's what scent is this one? This is Chicago High. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, definitely not a safe blind buy. In fact, none of these have, are safe blind buys. This is a house you really need to test. Let me say that right now. These are very different. These don't smell like anything else I own. Okay, very leathery. That one's definitely unisex, but leaning on the masculine side. So again, Chicago High is the one we just sampled. Okay, y'all, well, this next one I know y'all want to hear about, and I know that's probably why some of you all even clicked on this video. This next one is one that's starting to get some more traction on YouTube, even though it's not necessarily a new scent, but this is going to be an It Girl scent for 2023. Mark my words right now. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be that girl. And Mango Skin, because I'm already seeing more traction of this. I did smell it when I was at counter. This was one of the ones that I smelled that was already on my radar. And truthfully, I almost got it in the moment, but I was thinking, Girl, it's October at the time. It's gonna be fall. You ain't gonna wear no mangoes. You're not going anywhere that requires a mango scent. So I did not get it. Plus, like I say, I loved morning chess more. But again, back to mango skin. Notes, we have top blackberries, mango, black pepper. Middle, we have wild orris, black lotus, jasmine. And then base, we have patchouli, vanilla, and pink sugar. So I can already tell you, this one is gonna be very, very feminine. And I'm very glad I have a sample of Mango Skin since it was on my almost bought it at the moment list. Yeah. Spring, summer 2023 Mango Skin for sure. Mm -hmm. I like, you can smell that pink sugar at the end, y'all. It's definitely right there to tell you. The mango is like a true fresh mango. This is a spring, summer scent, hot weather. Even with spring, it needs, I'm talking May, late spring. I like this. So glad I have a sample of it to play in it so I did, that I can truly say that even in the moment when I was smelling a whole bunch of things, no, I do like mango skin. This is very, very nice. Another thing I want to point out too is the price point of this brand while we're here. I like the fact that the 50 ml bottles, which is what I have right here, they're $150. And for a niche brand, especially a brand that's sold to say Saks, that's very, very good. I mean, you can spend $150 on a designer fragrance at Sephora nowadays. I'm just saying. So for the 50 ml, I think that's very good. Now the 100 mils are $245, $245. But still, for this to be a niche brand, I'm not mad at this price point. Else, let me know what you think in the comments below. But yes, I do absolutely love Mango Skin. And yes, you will see it in 2023. I will get a full bottle of that one. This next one is called Smoke Show. 
smoke show, everyone. I like the name of that. It just sounds kind of bad or very femme fatale. <laughs> so, okay, you all, smoke show. We got, okay, I got to tear into this one too. Notes of pink pepper, saffron. I like saffron this year. I'm already intrigued. Middle note of rose oil and leather. And then we have base of vetiver, cedar wood, and agar wood. Hmm. Okay, let's see what Smoke Show is giving. Hmm. Okay, the leather in here. Okay, Wilhelm Parfumer's leather note overtakes everything else in their fragrances. If leather is in it, it's going to overtake everything. I see that now. I'm just smelling leather. I don't smell anything else. I'm sad about that. This is one I'm going to have to test and play in because right now I'm just seriously only getting leather in Smoke Show. And it's a, it is a smoky leather. I give it that. Fine. The name. I'll give it that. But ah, I want it more. I'm not getting that. So ah, I'm, again, I'm glad I have a sample. So I will be testing these and playing in these on skin. But our first impression, I'm let down. And that again is Smoke Show. All right, you all, we are making our way down to the last two. So this next one also almost went home, was full bottle worthy at the time. And you all, this one, Opius Core, you all. This is one I think is highly slept on. And I've been holding out on speaking on this fragrance until I did this video. I know we talk about morning chess. I know we talk about mango skin. I know we talk about what's that Poets of Berlin, which by the way, that is so overrated. It did absolutely nothing for me. That is an overhyped fragrance. And I didn't even ask for a sample of it because I was like, why is this hyped? So anyway, Poets of Berlin, no. But Opius Core slept on. Let me tell y'all right now. So let's get into the notes. Top notes of Sicilian Lemon, Akai. And then we have middle of Raspberry, Magnolia, Violet. And then base, we have Sandalwood, Skin Musk, and Amber. You all, this is a springy morning type of scent. That's how it was described to me by the sales associates. And they did not lie. But let's reacquaint ourselves with this scent because it's been a few months. Oh, this is so fresh. For my fresh and clean lovers, Opius Core is yes. Mmm. This is a skin scent. This is when you talk about a fresh skin scent, but you can still smell it. This is my idea. Opius Core, you all. So put it this way, for those that like, say for example, the new uh, MFK scent, the 724 fragrance that came out for 2022, but you, everybody thought that was just a, such a clean scent. And then of course the price point, you all, you can get this one for 150 and it's in that same family. And personally, Opius Core is better. I said it, it's better. Oh, this is, yes. This is one of the ones that I almost went home with a full bottle of this. Very, very nice. This is a spring scent. I want this one for spring 2023. I can tell y'all that right now. Opius Core, hands down, beautiful fragrance and completely slept on by this house. Love it, absolutely love. The last fragrance from this house we're gonna talk about is the Basil Celio and Fellini. Okay, Basil Celio and Fellini. This is another one, don't hear about. And they have a lot of other fragrances too in this house. Again, full arsenal. You can spend some time, you can spend some hours. Like I spent an hour and a half at the counter when I was trying to decide just because they have so much to offer and they are truly unique. So let's get into this Basil Celio and Fellini. Top notes of dragon fruit, basil, middle note, violet, wild fig, base is vetiver and green hay. So let's see what, what BNF is talking about because that name is long. We can call you BNF. <laughs> okay, this is very, very fresh. That, I smell basil in here. <laughs> I smell, it's, this smells like something you would season your food with. It was very, very light. This is very green. The green hay, that's what I'm smelling is green hay. <laughs> yeah, I smell like this is something I'm gonna cook with. This is giving tomatoes, basil. I'm about to make a pasta of something. That's what it smells like. I'm not mad at it, but do I want to smell like this? 
no so no for me mm -mm. bnf you're cute but this is a little bit too realistic a little bit too niche for me so it's a no for me <laughs> So, all right, that wraps up my sampling of seven fragrances from the House of Wilhelm Parfumery. All in all, in all this house is truly unique. As you can see, I'm, this is a house, as you can notice, you can tell this was a very hit or miss house for me and my nose. That's why I do not blind buy anything from this house. I don't care if it's hyped. I don't care. This is this house. Its scents are very different, very unique. I understand they have the notes and what you think you might get, but... What you smell versus the scent listings are two different things to me. So sample, sample, sample. Do not blind buy. <laughs> Do not blind buy. So I still say my loves is obviously my baby morning chest, which I do adore. I have a full bottle, obviously. And I think mango skin is full bottle worthy. I love it. It's beautiful. And I think the opiate core is fan fantastic absolutely fantastic so for me those are the three that i see that are like yes so i will be adding mango skin and opiates core to my collection from this brand and that's what i'm digging for right now i don't see anything else that i'm thinking i'm liking it from the brand but hey i might smell some more because there are several other fragrances out there that i've heard people talk about like moon carnival i heard it was good too so i do want to smell that one at another time so let me know what you think about this house. Have you smelled anything? Do you own anything for Wilhelm Parfumery? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of these, that is okay. It's okay. We're just playing some samples of fragrances today. Until next time, Els, I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.